All right, Predator 2, 1990. This movie is just ridiculous. Uh, we get the same writing team of the two brothers, Jim and John Thomas, and I haven't even seen I just got done watching it for the first time in 20 years because from what I remembered as a kid is I didn't like it. So I put it on the back burner for this long and finally revisited it, and I don't see it in any other way. Um, they bring the Predator to Hollywood for script convenience, basically. And in some franchises, it's okay to bring the character to Hollywood. Like if it's, I don't know, Pee Wee Herman or, or the Siamese Twins from Stuck on You or something. But what's the Predator's next big challenge? It's, it's the gang and drug wars of L.A. in 1997. The far distant future of 1997. Oh yeah, that's a big challenge. Except for... It's just the worst ensemble ever. I mean, the crew from The Hills Have Eyes 2 would be a better challenge to the Predator than the cast that they put together for this 1990 movie. Bill Paxson plays the comedy relief character. We get Bill Paxson one-liners. I sort of got, you can't go a few movies in the 90s without seeing this guy. I, I absolutely hate this guy. He was even on American or Savage Family Diggers and he was like, and he called out Rick Savage. He was like, I think you stole my slogan or my saying of, boom, baby. What? Are you completely out of your mind? That's like saying I invented the thumbs up saying, or what's up? This guy's ridiculous. He obviously has an ego. And then they talked to his son. He just wanted to be on it just for camera time because James Cameron, even James Cameron won't even hire this guy for any more movies. I'm sure he's going to be in Avatar 4, though, or something. Playing a worthless character. But enough about him. But I, I don't really don't... But I actually kind of like the Danny Glover character. I was pretty surprised. He's a decent... He plays like this cynic cop where... He really plays the character really aggressive, and I just love his performance in it. And he's in the part where he throws up Gary Busey against the wall, and he's like, "Listen, shithead, I don't give a f who you think I, who, who you really are." And he's just basically running around the movie the whole time, pushing extras out of this way and swearing. And he calls the predator a pussy face, which is like the best line of the movie. All the other comedy just sucks, of course. But, uh... I mean, the only way you like this movie... I know Rambo Raff, like, of course he did a... This movie's kick-ass review, like, drinking Mellow Yellow and, like, a 30-minute review where he was, like, mumbling the whole time. Like, I don't get why no one likes it. You know, he only likes, if you only like it for nostalgia reasons, and he's, he actually wrote in the title, Defending the Review, not to even call out him or anything. It's just that he was one of the few people on YouTube to do it, and so I was checking out his review. But he's so predictable. I mean, oh, if it's a new modern movie and it's really popular, you could count on an AKA rant from him. But if it was made in the 90s, or if it's considered a classic by everyone, you know, he's... Oh, he's gonna rate it high, so he doesn't get hated. But it, like I said, I'm not gonna single him out. I know he gets overly emotional and loves to block everyone and loves to disable ratings. So obviously, he's pretty self-conscious. So if you like it, that's great. I mean, if you grew up watching it, that's cool. That's what I'm saying. That's the only reason what way you'd like it. Because it doesn't offer much. It takes the Predator kind of like out of his element. I mean, like it's much of a challenge. And like I was saying, the character, for all those reasons, it's not to like. They don't even show the Predator in a spacecraft leaving or arriving. He's just there. But they do skull, show a skull shrine that's dope. There's a few 
scenes here and there that you like, but none of the action is that great. And the and the deep and the deepest the storyline gets is Gary Busey is running his own secret CIA operation team where they were all over the Predator since 1987, and it's been 10 years, and this is their best chance to catch him. But of course, Danny Glover's over aggressiveness is getting in the way. And then it's just kind of like the same thing. They don't make the Predator do anything. Like, they don't technologically advance any of his weapons or anything. It's a lot more... The action it is a lot more elaborate in the first one. And it's just... This is why it's forgotten. I mean, just watch it again and you'll realize why it's forgotten. So this is my basically rant review on Predator 2 of the Predator and Alien franchise that I'm going to be re reviewing on Villain Radio. Thanks for watching. This is JBM in 2013. I'm out.